for the love of a traveling soldier. Our love will never end. Waiting for the soldier to come back again. Never more to be alone. When the letter said, a soldier is coming home. One Friday night at a football game, the Lord's Prayer said in the anthem, sang a man said, folks, would you bow your heads for the list of local Vietnam dead? Crying alone under the stands was the piccolo player in the marching band and one name read, nobody really cared. But a pretty little girl with a bow in her hand.
Just begun. Think I'm gonna have a son. He will be lighting me as clear as a dove. Conceived in mud, sun is gonna shine above. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey, and everything will bring. A chain of love in the morning when I rise, you bring a tear of joy to my eyes and tell me everything is gonna be alright. Seems as though a month ago I was beta Kai, never got high, oh, was a sorry guy. Now I smile and face the girl that shares my name, yeah. Now I'm through with the game. This boy will never be the same. Even though he ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. And everything will bring a chain of love. In the morning when I 
joy to my eyes and help me everything's gonna be alright I see Virgo rising is a very good sign strong and kind and the little boy is mine now I see a family where there once was none now we've just begun yeah, we're gonna fly to the sun Even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with your money And everything will bring a chain of love In the morning when I rise Bring a tear of joy to my eyes And tell me everything Love the girl who holds the world in a paper cup Drink it up Love her and she'll bring you love If you find she helps your mind Better take her home, home. Yeah, don't you live alone Try to earn what love is on Even though we ain't got money I'm so in love with you, honey, and everything will bring a chain of love. In the morning when I rise, bring a tear of joy to my eyes and tell me everything's gonna be alright.
can find a way. It could be any day. We'll QFA. Just a few more clinical trials and then we'll QFA. Find a way to restore for a toxin. We'll QFA. We'll QFA together. We'll QFA. We can find a way. It could be any day. Insane there, and they sure know how to use it. They don't abuse it, never gonna lose it. I can't refuse it. Well, I've never been to England, but I kind of like the Beatles. Well, I headed to Las Vegas Only made it out to Needle Can you feel it? Must be near it Feel so good mm -hmm, So good Well, I've never been to heaven But I've been to In Oklahoma, not Arizona What does it matter? What does it matter? Show sure know how to use 
abusé They don't abuse it Never gonna lose it Can't refuse it Oh, well, I've never been to heaven But I've been to Oklahoma Well, they tell me I was born there But I really don't remember In Oklahoma, not Arizona What does it matter? What does it matter? In Oklahoma, not Arizona What does it matter? Whoa! Welcome to the Cure FA Soiree. Our family, the Soiree team, and the Oklahoma Friedrichs Ataxia, Friedrichs Ataxia community are thrilled you chose to be with us tonight. We'll announce our final total later, but I can tell you already we have more family with Fried that have represented with Friedrichs Ataxia, more people with Friedrichs Ataxia, and we were going to raise more money than we have in any prior year. We've already passed that. Whether you're from Texas, Kansas, Louisiana, Illinois, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and there are a few states that I've forgotten, but we are, all those people are with us tonight here in the room. They've traveled to be with us. Also, we have watching on the live stream people from all over the world. We have people tuned in from Belgium, and we have people tuned in from France, so the ones that have commented on the chat so far, and it's nearly midnight there. So we're really, we've really got a big outreach tonight. Um, we'd like you, there's an issue with the QR code on the program for the moment, but if you would just type bid.curafasoiree.org, then you can find it. It's on the program. The, the link is written on the program. We're, we're not sure what went wrong with the QR code, but we'll roll with it. Also, we would encourage those of you at home to please watch the, uh, to please watch, with the, who are watching the video, please participate in the live chat. Please upload photos of yourselves to pics.curafasoiree.org, and, um, and that applies to the rest of you too. Candid Color is here taking pictures of everybody. Please have your, have your photo taken by them, and uh, they'll give a copy to you, and they'll also uh, upload a copy to pics.curafasoiree.org. Farah's money is spent to fill the pipeline. Those of us who were at the research reception today learned about the pipeline and all the different potential treatments that might be able to, uh, might be able to help us fight this disease. They're, they're, this money is going to fund basic research to find things that might make a difference. We've been doing this for six years, and some of the things in the treatment pipeline are younger than that. So what that means is some of the money from the first couple of years that we've gone, that, that, you, that you all helped us raise, has already made a difference to, has already made a difference. Yes, please clap for yourself. Thank you. This year, the, donor, the donations we received from sponsors over doubled. So we needed a bigger banner. And we got a bigger banner. I'm thrilled that the first family of Farah Ron and Rachel Bar Bartek are joining us tonight. Um, yes. I'm fine, I'm fine if, I'm, I like to say that uh, Ron uh, built Farah in his image. Um, we also have um, Jen Farmer, the uh, CEO of, uh, of, of Farah, excuse me. Dr. Lynch, one of the three preeminent uh, FA doctors in the world. Uh, and Sanjay Bittachandani, a close friend of ours. And our closest connection to Ferris since we've been working this six years ago. We wish Felicia and Kyle could be there. I believe they're watching at home. Um, this is kind of like throwing a giant wedding every year and getting your 300 guests to pay for it. <laughs> so with that, I'll turn, the, I'll turn things over and we'll have our next performer. So thank you all very much. We're so glad you could be here tonight. Thank you very much. And let's cure FA.
Audrey Payne. I've known Michael since high school, and I'll be singing stuff like that there. Some hugging and some squeezing and some mugging and some teasing and some stuff like that there. I want some petting and some spooning and some happy honeymooning and some stuff like that there. I used to think that love was just a lot of rubbish. A mess of cabbage, a mess of cabbage. But now my attitude is only love and rubbish. And baby, you, you done it. I want some kissing and some hoping and some missing and some moping and some. Stuff like that there. I want some weeping and some chasing and some weeping and some pacing and some stuff like that there. And when I get a certain feeling, I confess it. There's really only one expression to express it. I want some hugging and some squeezing and some mugging and some teasing and some leaping and some chasing and some weeping and some pacing and some stuff. I want some stuff like that there. to think romance was bound a double mickey for the icky but all at once my heart is sound and baby you you done it i want some kissing and some hoping and some missing and some moping and some stuff like that there i want some leaping and some chasing and some weeping and some pacing and some stuff like that there and when i get a certain feeling i confess it there's really only one expression to express it. I want some hugging, teasing, mugging, squeezing, and some stuff. I want some stuff like that and we will be accompanied by David Hillis on piano, Jason Hunt on bass, and Bart Werner on drums. I drew a broken heart right on your window pane Waited for your reply I here in the pouring rain Just breathe against the glass Give me some kind of sign I know the hurt won't pass, yeah Just tell me it's not the end of the line Just tell me it's not the end of the line That feeling is the best thing, the best thing, all right. I'm gonna place my bed on us. I know this love is headed in the same direction. That's a... You drew a question mark. But do you know what I want? I want to turn the clock, yeah. 
right back to where it was. So let's build a bridge, yeah, from your side to mine. I'll be the one to cross over. Just tell me it's not the end of the line. Just tell me it's not the end of the line. you're feeling that feeling is the best thing the best thing all right i'm gonna place my bed on us i I know know this love is headed in the same direction that's up girl i know we could climb back to where we were then feel it here in my heart put your heart in my head girl i hope and i pray that you do understand If you did, all you have to say is Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah I'm waiting for you Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Oh, I never meant to break your heart And I won't let this plane go down This love is headed in the same direction that's up. Good evening. Did Thomas, Jacob, Audrey, Jessica, and Evan get us to off to a great start? And we have so many m- amazing acts this evening. I'm Nicole Owens. I'm one of the soiree team members. I've had the privilege of knowing the Gare family for over 13 years. Since my children started attending Heritage Hall, the same school as uh, Michael and Thomas attended. Music and the performing arts brought us together, and as the soiree's tagline states, react with music, the performing arts propel us in our efforts to raise funds to help fund a cure to Friedrich's ataxia. We are blown away by the number of sponsors this year, and they include the following 16 bronze sponsors. Local businesses like five-year sponsors, Candid Color Systems and University Universal Fidelity Life Insurance Company, BC Clark Jewelers, Farmer's Brain Kitchen and Cellar in Edmond, Francis Enterprise, Enterprises owned by our own Mary Francis and F.A. Mom, the law firms of Phillips Murrough PC and Holiday Children in Irwin, CPA firm of Regier, Cox and Associates, Visit Edmond, Edmond's Tourism Center, the Rotary Club of Northwest Oklahoma City, artist Marilyn Goodwin, and FA family members, the Beard family, Julie and Roger Gates, and Colonel retired James and Amy Provines, and close friends of the soiree team members, the Chung family, and Rebecca and Kieran Fansocker. Let's give a big round of applause for our generous bronze sponsors. Make sure to get your picture taken by Candid Color Systems photographers, and please remember to grab some wine and beer at the wine pool table at the back room to my right, and check out the silent auction tables here to my left. We have such a nice variety of items from intricate quilts and handmade baskets, delicious treats, to a range of beautiful and interesting works of art and everything in between. Bid online, purchase one of our InstaBuy items, which is our, at the table back here, or donate by scanning. Well, actually, I, I need to correct that since um, Eric said that the QR code isn't operating correctly, so make sure that you bid by going to bid.curefasoiree.org and get ready for some more talented performers. Thank you.
ใช่อ attention the QR code is now working so yes yes all right and that'll be all thank you just kidding rare disease it really isn't that rare maybe you have one and feel like life isn't fair see maybe you felt like you're all on your own I know I felt like I'm all alone, but truth is, one in ten are affected, and most cases are genetic, while some are caused by infections. Over 30 million in the U.S., 7,000 different diseases. Most have no funding, no research, no treatments. Friedrich's ataxia. That's my condition. See, I had dreams of playing sports at high level competition, but then rare disease came and knocked me off track. But I won't be defeated, no. Instead, I fight back. And you could fight with me. See, you could make an impact. Maybe you have a lot and wonder how you could give back. See, you could fund the research that could cure one of us. Or maybe you're just a friend could lend an ear to one of us. You could raise awareness. One click, you could share this. See, you could be the answer to so many people's prayer lists. If we work together, there's no impossible task. Odds are you know someone. All you got to do is ask. But maybe you're that someone with the rare diagnosis. And maybe like me, at times you feel hopeless. But hold on, so many people care for you. And when you feel like no one's there, God is always there for you. So don't give up, you might be close to your breakthrough. And your trials aren't meant to break you, but to make you. So as long as I can, I'll keep on writing. And while you have breath in your lungs, keep on fighting. Thank you. Thank you. So my name is Jacob Thompson. Among other things, I'm a hip hop artist by the name 1020. I don't have much time, so if you want to know what that means, come find me after and ask me. And I want to thank the Gare family for having me and putting on this amazing event. And I'm honored to be the first ever hip hop artist at the Cure FA Soiree. So, for a hip hop performance, I need audience participation. Okay, so when I say no and point the mic to you, you say no. 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 Okay, and then when I say you're not alone, you echo three times, say alone, alone, alone. You're not alone. No. All right, you're ready. So I wrote this song when you have a rare disease like Friedrich's ataxia, you can feel alone but I would just say, look around this room. You're not alone, so let's play it. So remember, when I say no, you say no. Here it comes, ready? No. This is not the end of your road. No. 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 no one's sitting back will be easy. No. no. You don't have to walk it alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Sometimes 
I look in the mirror, I don't see my wings I only see my losses, my parents tripping in I wonder who I am, I wonder what I'll be And when I'm gone, how would they remember me? So much pain inside, if they could only know Instead I keep it in, I walk a lonely road But when I'm by myself, I know I'm not alone I know I'm not alone, I know I'm not alone I lay in my bed, and I stare up I know you're so, there, so I put a prayer, put a prayer up. up. I pray for just, strength, just, just, just to make it through. Strength. And if make I can it, make, make you, can make you can too. make it too. This is not the end of your story. No. no. This is not the end of your road. No. No one's in the path will be easy. No. no. You don't have to walk it alone. You're not 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 alone. I lay awake and I wonder if I'm alright I can't sleep again, I'm up all night And I carry so much weight in my chest Feeling depressed, wishing I could just get rid of my stress I heard that you get blessed, to the weary So I'm crying out, I wonder if you heal me Can you save me, can you heal me, can you help me Can you show me, can you me Give me the strength I need to get up again And show me what it means to feel love again I know I'm suffering, I know I'll make it through And if I can make it, can make it to make it too This is not the end of your story No This is not the end of your road No No one said I'm back will be easy No You don't have to walk it alone You're not alone You're not alone Long if you this got is it. not the end of your story. No. This is not the end of your road. No. No one said the path will be easy. No. You don't have to walk it alone. You're not alone. So do me a favor. Do me. Uh, you can clap if you want. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this will make somebody feel awkward, but I want you to look at your neighbor in the eyes. Look close at their eyes. And then, because it's awkward, look at your own fingers. Look close at your own fingerprints. And the reality is, there are no two people exactly alike. And that even if you are born with F.A. or you're born with something else, you are unique and you have a role to fill in this world that only you can fill. You are one of a kind. So check it out, when I say A, you say A. So A, 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 A. 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 And then after the third A, you say you're one of a kind. All right, so let's try A, A, A. Hey, hey, you're one of the kind. All right, play. And watch the video too, because this song goes out to Cooper, who, um, he has F.A. They flew me out to their house to shoot this video. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, and beautiful, and you wanna become a kind, make God made you, you something yeah, special, something special with mine. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, and you wanna become a kind, make God made you, yeah, something special with mine. Yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 hey, 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 you wanna become a kind, yeah, hey, 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 you wanna become, yeah. I'm just checking in, reminding you to keep your head up. I know life can be hard, got you feeling better. The rain pours down, it won't even let up. Remember, it's not about how you fall, but how you get up. When you're down, don't stay too long. And when you say, I just play this song, know you're special and you got a purpose. God looks at you and he calls you worth it. Your people love and they care about you. And the world wouldn't be the same without you. So keep moving and 
keep shining and when you're under pressure know that pressure may yeah. stop me you're beautiful and you're one of a kind but god made you god made he has something you. special in mind yeah. you're beautiful, beautiful and you're one of a kind but god made you he has something special in mind yeah. hey 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 So, thank you. So, I might be over my time. So, I would love to talk to you more, but I can't, which is why I wrote this book so that I could talk to you more. So, I will be out there later at a table. Uh, I came from Minneapolis and I filled my suitcase with books and paid $100 for the heavy bag fee. <laughs> I don't want to pay it on the way back, so <laughs> come check it out and then come back later if you see more, get one for your brother, sister, cousin, <laughs> nephew, and uh, it'll be good. So hey, you guys did amazing. So give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Don't make me 
Hello, my name's Jason, and uh, the uh, band that I'm in was supposed to play tonight, but our uh, fiddle player couldn't make it. She's having a kid, and so so that I guess it, I guess that kind of takes it out of you. And uh, so anyway, literally, literally. <laughs> So um, we had this on backup in case it happens, because it turns out you get a little heads up on that event. So, uh, but the way I know the Gare family is I was asked to do this event last year, and uh, I asked him this time around if he would like someone to kind of be in charge of the music. And so he uh, let me do that. He allowed me to uh, be the music director for this thing. So I get to do that as well. And so, um, so that said, the backup thing we have going on, um, I think there's probably three quarters of the, uh, the Patsy Cline review that we do um, are, are represented here in the musicians. So um, we're going to do a little filler music we do for that show. It's, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, little, yeah, you, he's got a whole speech he gives that I'm going to let him take over now. We're going to play a song. <laughs> this is called the Orange Blossom Special. One, two, and a one, two, three, four. I need some clapping on this. On two and four, not one and three. pleasure of introducing uh, Mary Frances. In October of 2020, the Cura Face Foray received a Facebook message from Mary saying her daughter was recently diagnosed with FA and she wanted to help with the soiree and raising awareness for FA. We connected soon after that and became close friends. And Mary was not speaking lightly about raising money for Farah and awareness of FA. Her involvement on the soiree team in 2021 and going forward has resulted in us in several major ongoing sponsorships and significant fundraising. Her enthusiasm and optimism encouraged us to set big goals, which seemed very lofty when we set them. But then we met them and we exceeded them. 
Mary is a champion for her daughter Olivia and the entire FA community, and we're thrilled to have her on our team. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for attending this wonderful event, Raising Money for FA. My name is Mary Francis, and this is my daughter, Olivia. Olivia was diagnosed with FA in 2020 after struggling to find a diagnosis for four years. Although the news of her diagnosis and prognosis was devastating, I found myself looking for ways to make the best of what God handed us. As Liz had mentioned, I had seen that there was a local fundraiser that was held by the Gare family. I decided to reach out to them to see if I could get involved. The Gares were very inviting and gave us so much information and tools to utilize to help us in our journey. They have been very instrumental in helping Olivia and I navigate through this diagnosis and most of all have become lifelong friends that we cherish. Thank you, Liz and Eric. <clears throat> My goal for Olivia was to keep her involved, keep her going, let her enjoy life and the friends she met along the way. Olivia has always enjoyed being in ballet and has been taking classes since she was three. She attends Studio J and Edmond and they've made her feel welcomed and accommodated her in any way that they could. They have made her time there so enjoyable and I am grateful for them. Since Olivia was so excited, about the ballet, I decided to reach out to Oklahoma City uh, Ballet to see about her being in the Nutcracker. She's been attending the performance there for, since she was four years old and was amazed by the performance. When she was in the first grade, she did an assignment at school. It was to tell what her goals in life were. Her goal was to be a ballerina in the Nutcracker. I thought this was so sweet and hoped that one day this dream would come true for her. Not long after was when she was diagnosed with F.A. I didn't think much about that assignment until one day she mentioned it again. I wondered how I could make her dreams come true. I decided to sit down and write an email to Oklahoma City Ballet. I told them of her dreams to be in the Nutcracker and asked them by chance if there would be any small part she could partake in. I almost immediately received an email from their communications director. She was aware that Olivia and I would be attending the performance of Sleeping Beauty on her birthday. We were able to go backstage and watch the rehearsal of the Nutcracker. In the middle of the rehearsal, the artistic director, Ryan Nye, stopped the rehearsal and introduced Olivia and myself. He told Olivia they had a very special birthday present for her and invited her to perform in the Nutcracker. He stated he had created the role of Marie, which was specifically for her, and she would be on stage in a vintage wheelchair. The joy we experienced that evening was beyond words. Olivia performed in 12 performances this past Christmas. <laughs> All news stations in the metro area covered her story and it also went nationwide. My goal for this was of course to make my daughter's dreams come true, but to also put awareness of F.A. in the community. Aside from being a famous ballerina, Olivia also enjoys going to school. She attends St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and has been in classes there since she was 18 months old. Although she has progressed with her symptoms, she has also excelled in her studies. She has been a straight A student the entire time. The faculty and staff, <laughs> the faculty and staff have been amazing to Olivia and work to accommodate her on a daily basis. But I think the most important part of being in school are the friends she has made. They embrace her, they love her, 
assist her, and most of all, include her in everything, regardless of her restrictions. It not only makes Olivia extremely happy, but warms my heart to see the compassion from other children. Olivia is fortunate to have such a loving school environment to be a part of. The, term, the determination my daughter has is one I see in everyone I have met with FA. They strive to help put out awareness in every community. They want to be known for the strength they have to survive and to find a cure for this disease. My daughter, along with every FAer, has given me the courage to keep fighting, to keep looking for a cure, to keep putting awareness into anyone that will listen. Olivia and I look forward to treatments that may be available in the future and hopefully one day cure FA. Thank you.
is today. Yeah. My name is Katsumi Hagiwara, and they call me Mr. H. I was honored and privileged to teach Michael when he was in second grade, which was 17 years ago. And since then, we have been good friends. I'm also Thomas's favorite lower school music teacher. Here we're in Shimo Igusa J in Tokyo, Yay! Japan. I'm here with my new friends with the Beatles and other Beatles fans. Crazy Beatles fans in Japan. Michael, Michael, Cure FA, Cure FA, Cure FA, Cure FA. Thank you, everybody. You're so sweet. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the blazer to know. And all the people that come and go step and say hello. This is our first time attending, and we've been watching from afar for the last uh, several years, but what a, what a wonderfully special event. And how about this house band up here? These guys are fantastic. So last night, uh, last night sitting up in, in our room, uh, I was scrolling through channels, and uh, what do you know, Walk the Line was on. So I did a little practice in last night. Got a little, got a little Johnny Cash and June Carter for you. Jackson, going to 
mess around Yeah, I'm going to Jackson Look out, Jackson Town City. People gonna stoop and bow. Huh. All them women gonna make me teach them like I don't know how. I'm going to Jackson, turn it loose in my coat. Yeah, I'm going to Jackson. Goodbye, that's all she wrote. Decker, and the last time I heard Liz Gare sing was after I taught Michael in third grade. I was his homeroom teacher and science teacher. Michael, oh, he's chatting right now. He's not listening, just like in class. <laughs> so my daughter and I went to, to uh, hear the Gares sing at a baseball game. They sang the national anthem at the baseball game. That was the last time I heard Liz sing out loud in front of a crowd, and it was spectacular. It gave me chill bumps. It did. So obviously, we have a shared interest, a common interest. Not just Michael, but music. Some of you share the interest of education and travel with the Gares. Raise your hand if you have a common interest with the Gares. Yeah, a few of us. But well, we have a new common interest, to Cure FA, right? Isn't that why we're here tonight? Absolutely, absolutely. So I want to thank the silver sponsors this evening, starting with some friends of the family, the Eaton family, Robert Rhodes, Cindy and Mark Shaw, and Jennifer Howe. Jennifer has now um, sponsored this event as a silver sponsor for six years in a row. Spectacular. Yes, big applause for that. The Hilton Garden Inn, obviously this hotel, they've helped in kind with the sponsorship in kind by hosting us each year, helping us with that. Um, FSB, which is an architecture and engineer firm here in town. OSSO, which is the Oklahoma Sports Science Orthopedics. GDP, which is an oil and gas engineering company in Tulsa, but they also help um, people reach their goals worldwide. Nafee Fine Jewelry, they are in Nichols Hills Plaza. They do designer, they carry designer jewelry and they do custom jewelry for special occasions. They actually did a custom piece for this event tonight. It's 
in the auction over on the table right below me on that wall. <laughs> so that's Nafi Fine Jewelry. Um, also, in the research field, we had a, a research brunch earlier today and we're able to hear uh, so many updates about what's happening in, in the FA research. Laramar, they, are, they have a phase two trial drug. They are a silver sponsor this year, as well as PTC Therapeutics, which has a phase three trial drug. So we, could we give a big round of applause for our silver sponsors? Thank you. just a spare. Well, I won't care. So I'm the extra button on a coat in case another one comes loose. But if I have to be a button, why can't I be a button that's of use? Oops, I may lack style and I may lack grace. And once in a while I might fall on my face. But this little button deserves a place in the sky. This button wants to fly. Wait, buttons can't fly. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm a rusty horseshoe hanging up over somebody's old barn door. And I'll be hanging there forever. Just wishing the horse had one leg more. Maybe I can't be the perfect one. And maybe I err on the side of fun. But horseshoes need a chance to run somewhere. This horseshoe is more than just a spare. Someday I'll find my thing, a thing that's all my own, a thing that makes me part of something, not just all alone. If only all these a second born sister who most of the town ignores like a button like a horseshoe like a girl who's bad at metaphors maybe i don't have a magic touch maybe i don't have a talent as such just this heart with much too much to share so i'll never be the heir i'm more than just a spare Say, um, I'll be joined by uh, David Hillis, Jason Hunt, and Jack Owens. I'll be singing If You Were the Rain by Stephen Day. If 
you were the rain, I would pray, Lord, it's too dry. Every night, yes, if you were the rain, and I was outside, no, I wouldn't run, I wouldn't hide. I just look up to the sky and I'd say that's okay Cause today I wanna play in the rain That's alright, I don't mind A little time with no sunshine Someday you'll fall like rain into my arms And finally leave the sky you thought was home Forecast calls for rain Oh, it's coming soon, Lord You know exactly what I'm gonna do I just look up to the sky And I'd say that's okay Cause today, I want to play in the rain That's alright, I don't mind A little time with no sunshine, no Ladies and gentlemen, David Hillis start raining If you were the rain I'd be saying Girl, go ahead and start raining If you were the rain I'd be saying That's okay Cause today I wanna play in the rain it's alright, I don't mind A little time, no sunshine Thank y'all. song called In the Summertime. We're pretty excited about it. We hope you'll like it. Get by. 
If her daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If her daddy's poor, just do what you feel. Speed along the lane, do a turn or a turn in 25. When the sun goes down, you can make it, make it good and lay by. We're not great people, we're not dirty, we're not mean. We love everybody, but we do as we please. When the weather's fine, we go fishing or go swimming in the sea. We're always happy, lots of living, yeah, that's our philosophy. We're along with us, dee 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 dee, da 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 da, yeah, we'll have that be. Da da da, dee da do, dee da do, da do da. Da 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 When the winter's here, yeah, it's party time. Bring a bottle away your black clothes, it'll soon be summertime, and we'll sing again. We'll go driving, or maybe we'll settle down. If she's rich, if she's nice, bring your friends, and we'll all go into town. In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. When the weather's fine, you got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. Sing along with us, dee 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 dee, da 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 da, yeah we'll have a bee, da 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 dee da dee dee da 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 da, da dee da 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 da. Thank you. I don't know about y'all, but my toes are still tapping, I think, after that one. Uh, my name is Roger Gates, and uh, I have the great privilege to introduce our gold and uh, platinum sponsors. Uh, we're starting to talk about some serious coin here, ladies and gentlemen, so these people deserve a special round when we get around to it. Uh, but before I mention them, I wanted to remind people that we have the silent auction going over here. We've got all these wonderful uh, items for you to bid on. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't plug uh, the baskets that my wife Julie and her friend Jan Myers have handmade. Uh, also the quilts from uh, my mom and my mother-in-law, they did those. And so uh, I just keep, keep it going because uh, there's some pretty nice stuff over there. Okay, so for the gold sponsors, um, I'll start off with the McBride Orthopedic Hospital, which includes Dr. Thomas and Sandy Jansen. This is their second year of giving to the Farah. Uh, also, Heflin, which is a nurse uh, management company, uh, as a, a gold sponsor. The Lehman family. Did I hear it for Heflin? All right. Uh, the Lehman family is uh, Eric Gare's cousin's family. Very uh, generous to us again this year. Um, Cyclonic Valve Company. That's a company out of Tulsa that. Uh, the, uh, Kristen Hahn, who is one of our fair ambassadors, that's her childhood best friend Aaron's family's company. So th way to go, Kristen. Way to go. Um, another company, Will Speck, is a proud sponsor. This is their actually, Will Speck, this is their ninth season of giving, and lately they have adopted Farah as one of their main causes. So thank you very much. Um, and then, of course, you all know Eric. Uh, and uh, Liz Gare, the Gare uh, Innovation Company, uh, their company has a, a gold sponsor as well. Our platinum sponsors, uh, of course, the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance and all they put into this. Thank you very much, Farah, for all you do for us, not just in the state of Oklahoma and the country of the United States, but worldwide. Uh, you know, they have a reach. Um, Lexio, one of the drug uh, companies, is a sponsor. And Lexio is working on a very promising gene therapy study that uh, ha it, it targets the, hearts, uh, the heart issues that some FA patients have. And so we thank you very much, Lexio, for all that you have done for us. Um, Joe, 
All right. Joe Cooper Auto Group uh, is another one of our sponsors. Um, Joe Cooper's son was one of Eric, uh, one of uh, Michael Gare's uh, classmates, and this is their sixth season as a sponsor to Ferris. So thank you for Joe Cooper. And then, last but not least, um, uh, and they couldn't be here tonight because she got sick. But Stellar uh, Realty Company. It's a it's a realty company that operates out of South Oklahoma City. I work with Kim, she's the owner and operator. I work with her husband for the past 15 years. He recently retired from uh, out at Tinker where we work together. And I guess she was making so much money that he decided to go work for her instead of Uncle Sam. But uh, we appreciate so much Stellar for the very generous platinum donation that they gave us this year. Thank you very much. My name is Shelley Phelps. I recently became acquainted with the Gare family and uh, learned a little bit about FA and about this organization and, and about you know everything that they and all of you are doing to make a difference. And uh, it is an honor to be here tonight and to share the stage with all this wonderful talent we have here. And speaking of, Mr. Davis Hillis will be accompanying me on this song.
Dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. I bought a boy double round the crown and everybody's getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. And I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise cause the girls they are so pretty. Riding up and down Broadway on my old stuffy Roy on the girls. For your Escalade, your Freak Parade I'm the only drone away left in this town And I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city I make a lot of noise cause the girls they are so pretty Riding up and down Broadway on my old dusty boy And all the girls say, save a horse, ride a cowboy Everybody says, save a horse, ride a cowboy She said in the back of my truck bed as I was getting buzzed on suds out on some back country road. We were flying high, fine as wine, having ourselves a big and rich time, and I was going just about as far as she let me go. But her evaluation of my cowboy reputation had me begging for salvation all night long. So I took her out gigging frogs and introduced to my old bird dog and sang her every Willie Nelson song I couldn't think of and, and we, we made, made love and I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city I make a lot of noise cause the girls they are so crazy riding up and down Broadway on my old stuffy boy and every girl say save a horse ride a cowboy everybody say save a horse ride a cowboy what what? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Everybody say, Save a horse, ride a cowboy.
Someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know exactly what you need. And even in your case, though it's the toughest case I've yet to face, don't worry, I'm determined to succeed. Follow my lead, and yes, indeed, you will be popular. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper ploys when you talk to boys. Little ways to flirt and flout. I'll show you how to choose to wear, how to fix that hair. Everything that really counts to be popular. You're gonna be popular. You'll hang with the right cohorts. You'll be good at sports. Know the slang you've got to know. So let's start, cause you've got an awfully long way to go. Don't be offended by my frank analysis. Think of it as personality dialysis. Now that I've chosen to become a palace sister and advisor, there's nobody wiser, not when it comes to popular. I know about popular, and with an assist from me to be who you'll be, instead of dreary who you were, well, are. There's nothing that can stop you from becoming popular. Lar. La, 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 la. We're gonna make you popular. When I see depressing creatures with unprepossessing features, I'm reminded on their own behalf to think of celebrated heads of state, especially great communicators. Did they have brains? 
or knowledge don't make me laugh. They were popular, please. It's all about popular. It's not about aptitude. It's the way you're viewed. So it's very true to be very, very popular like me. And though you protest your disinterest, I know clandestinely. You're gonna grin and bear it, your newfound popularity. La, 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 la. You'll be popular, just not quite as popular. popular.
hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to that old man God celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Just a few more clear days and then I'll fly away to that land where joy will never end. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly
Good evening, everybody. My name is Cody Martin. I have with me Jessica Elam. Uh, her son is Tabor Elam over on Tabor fi table five. He's wave. He's not going to wave. <laughs> <laughs> to the Gare family, to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ron Bartek, uh, to the sponsors, donors, but more importantly, to the FAers and all the FA families in attendance tonight. Thank you so much from the deepest, from the bottom of our hearts for, for being here tonight to make the Cure FA Soiree a huge success. Together, we will Cure FA. We would like to take a few moments to recognize our FAers and their families. So on the screens to my sides, we have a list of everyone that is in attendance this evening. Um, while there are approximately 4,000 people living with FA in the United States, tonight we are blessed with 26 of them here um, at our soiree um, from 11 different states. So that's great. And from the FA families to Fara, uh, we thank you so much for the love, the countless hours, and to be quite honest, just the pure grit that it has taken to come this far to be where we are in the pipeline of research and everything else that, that has been possible uh, through, uh, through your organization. Um, and it kind of reminds me of something that a doctor once said, and it wasn't a medical doctor, but he said, uh, unless somebody like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to change. It's not. And uh, that was by Dr. Seuss, but his words uh, still do ring true uh, to that. So thank you very much for caring so much um, to let everybody here be able to see and recognize that. Um, and to the FAers in attendance or listening in tonight, uh, there are a lot of people that care. Just take a look around the room tonight or across the table. I think I counted there's either nine or 10 tables across now at the Cure FA Soiree. Um, don't have the final numbers, but just simple math says we're somewhere in the upper twos to 300 people here tonight, which is absolutely incredible. So there are a lot of people who care a whole awful lot. Earlier today, I was talking with uh, Mr. Shin from Lexio, and uh, this is the same comment that's been kind of passed around to me whenever I've been talking to people about why they're so invested in the FA community and about what makes the difference. And they said, it's because of you. It's because of the community, because of the families, and because of the FAers that they, they are so committed to being here, to doing the research, and to providing the hopeful cure that will eventually cure FA. And, uh, you know, in, on that same line, I was kind of reminded by some words immemorial that were spoken in 1962 at that time by President uh, John F. Kennedy whenever he said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And in 1969, seven years later we did, we, we placed men on the moon. And I can tell you right now, what I believe personally is that if we can place men on the moon, we can absolutely, we can and we will find a cure for F.A. Again, thank you to all of our F.A. families. Um, we are in this together to find a cure, to support each other, um, to be there, to encourage each other, to celebrate. Um, that's what family does. We're all in this together to cure FA. Thank you. Hello, I'm Regina Lane. Um, this next song is about parenting in this modern age. I don't know if any of you are raising anxious children, but that's what this song is about. We have Bart Barner on the strings. And David Hillis, the masterful David Hillis on the piano.
Can we try to have an optimistic outlook? Can we buck up just enough to see the world won't fall apart? Maybe this year we decide we're not giving up before we've tried. This year we'll make a new start. Another stellar conversation for the scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm reaching for the right thing to say. I'm kind of coming up empty, can't find my way to you. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. Where's the map? I need a clue. Cause the scary truth is I'm flying blind and I'm making this up as I go. Another masterful attempt ends with disaster. Pour another cup of coffee and watch it all crash and burn. It's a puzzle, it's a maze. I've tried to steer through it a million ways, but each day's another wrong turn. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. Where's the map? I need a clue. Cause the scary truth is I'm flying blind. I'm flying blind. I'm flying blind. And I'm making this up as I go. Hashtag parenting. And today I'm going to be accompanied by Bart Varner, David Hillis, Jason Hunt, and Jack Owens on This Love. I was so high I did not recognize The fire burning in her eyes The chaos that controlled my mind Whispered goodbye as she got on a plane Never to return again But always in my heart Oh, this love has taken its toll on me And she said goodbye too many times before and her heart is breaking in front of me And I have no choice Cause I won't say goodbye anymore Whoa, whoa, whoa I tried my best to feed her appetite Keep her happy every night So hard to keep her satisfied Kept playing love like it was just a game Pretending to feel the same Then turn around and leave again But uh oh, this love has taken its toll on me And she said goodbye too many times before And her heart is breaking in front of me And I have no choice Cause I won't say goodbye anymore Whoa, whoa, whoa I'll fix these broken things Repair your broken wings And make sure everything's all right This love has taken me on me and she said goodbye too many times before and her 
heart is breaking in front of me And I have no choice Cause I won't say goodbye anymore This love has taken its toll on me And she said goodbye too many times before And my heart is breaking in front of me And I have no choice Cause I won't say goodbye anymore This love has taken its toll on me And she said goodbye too many times before And my heart is breaking in front of me And I have no choice Cause I won't say goodbye anymore Don't to be here, so I'm not here to sing to you. I'm here to introduce my uncle Gare. Uh, like the gravy told you. There were 26 affairs from 12 different states here. I represent the great state of Alabama. And I don't think that statistic would have been possible without the work and the barrage of emails I got from Michael. So I just want to say thank you to him for getting us all here and for embracing his role and the FA community so well. So, without further ado, give it up for the longest haired Gare, <laughs> Michael Gare.
Hello, here I am. Are you having a good time at the sixth annual Careful Story? As you were previously pestered by my father, you hopefully know, the soiree actually sold out this year. I'm super grateful to everyone who helped make this happen, especially for Fair, especially Farah for sending in really their muscle, the soiree team for their best work to make this year's the best yet, and for my parents for giving birth to me. Great job. And I guess also their work on the soiree. That was pretty cool too. If we hit our goal this year, we will have sent a total of one million dollars to Farah since we started. And uh, guess what? I have more there, but I skipped some of it and I just went straight to the end, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I'd like to talk about, you know, a slightly different aspect of FA or a slightly different subject relating to FA kind of every year to, uh, so that instead of boring you with the same speech every year, I can bore you with a slightly different speech every year. This year, I'll choose another of the fun, quirky aspects of F.A., of which I'm sure you know there are many to choose from. When I was growing up, I always felt like I was pretty outgoing and extroverted. I never went to a ton of parties or anything, but I felt I could hold a conversation on my own. I found it pretty, some, some might say, too easy to talk someone's ear off if they were talking about something I was interested in or interested in me. Last summer I went to a wedding with my parents and my brother. Thomas and I had talked somewhat recently about different kind of personality types. He agreed when I said that I thought he was pretty loud and expressive but maybe actually a little more introverted. And I said that I believed that I was more of an extrovert. At the wedding, a woman began talking to Thomas and me, and he was fielding most of her questions and generally being more engaging. After the interaction, he said something like, I thought you were the extrovert. And I remember kind of thinking to myself, huh, I thought I was too. It was fairly loud in the room, and voices surrounded by noise are somewhat difficult to understand for people with Hefe. Also, to make sure I can be understood, I have to focus on enunciating and being loud enough, which comes easily for my family, but <laughs> ignore that. So instead of making all this extra effort and doing this extra stuff to engage in conversations, I nod along or don't engage. FA has changed how I interact, and it's made me more uncomfortable with the way I interact. This deep discomfort has further isolated me from how I used to be. One time where that doesn't apply, though, is with the F.A. community. I'm free and comfortable to be myself. I'm free and comfortable to eat slowly and messily, to joke around with F.A. as the punchline and have the only reactionary emotion not be pity. And I'm free and comfortable to repeat myself and ask others to repeat themselves as needed. Also, sometimes we don't even need to talk. It's really often enough just to sit there and enjoy each other's presence and understanding. I'm amazed every year, but I'm the most amazed I've ever been this year by the amazingly strong aura of the FA community in this room. 
FA is a terribly unfair and heartbreaking disease, but the FA community is wonderful. Thank you for being a part of letting me and us get back to our n previous normal. Thank you for your thus far $290,000 effort to make it so that we can permanently get back to our previous normal. Thank you so much and good night. To our entire family, we all really like the song, and it kind of describes that feeling of being viewed as an outsider um, and not really being included. And that can be what a lot of people with FA experience, and just you know, not being really part of everything else. But it's really awesome what what events like these can can do to make people feel included. So it's creep. When you were here before. I should plug in my guitar. <laughs> let, me, let me try that again. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> when you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world You're so very special I wish I was special I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. I wanna control. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. I want a perfect soul. I want, want you, you to know this. And I'm not around. You're so very special. You're so very special. I wish I was special. I wish I was special. But I'm not a creep. I'm a weirdo. What am I doing here? I don't belong here.
and I'm singing Grow As We Go. You 
say there's so much you don't know You need to go and find yourself You say you'd rather be alone Cause you don't think you'll find it tied to someone else Ooh, said it's true that the growing only happens on your own They don't know me and you I don't think you have to leave If to change is what you need You can change right next to me When you're high I'll take the lows you can ebb and I can flow And we'll take it slow And grow as we go And you won't be the only one I am unfinished, I've got so much left to learn I don't know how this river runs But I'd like the company through every twist and turn Ooh, said it's true That the growing only happens on your own They don't know me and you I don't think you have to leave If to change is what you need You can change right next to me But when you're high, I'll take the lows You can ebb and I can flow We'll take it slow and Grow as we go Ooh, Grow as we go You won't be the only one And I can't promise it's not written in the stars But I know that when it's done You're gonna see that it was better And we grew up together Tell me you don't want to leave If to change is what you need you can change right next to me but When you're high, I'll take the lows You can ebb and I can flow We'll take it slow Grow as we go First of all, I'm here to uh, push the wine pole. Wait a second, that's not, never left. The, go back and I want everyone to take a look. There's some great wines back there. $20, roll the dice. Um, I've been asked to thank our diamond sponsors on this uh, occasion. First, we thank Outback Steakhouse for this <laughs> tremendous meal, yeah, for the third year. And I know I ate too much, so it's, I did my part. Um, I thank uh, Adam Gare and Virginia Miller for being a dime level twice. Thank you very much for your help. Thanks to Cardiovascular Health Clinic for their sponsorship. This is their second year at this level. Thank you very much. And of course to Rayata Pharmaceuticals. And as we, as we heard earlier, this year they received uh, uh, approval on the first FDA approved drug for treating our uh, FA. So thank you very much. And last and 
absolutely not least, to Eric, Liz, Michael, and Thomas Gare. Thank you. Thank you hardly begins to cover it. Thank you so much for creating all of this, and thank you so much for welcoming us all into your family. Thank you. singing The Last Great American Dynasty, and I will be accompanied by Jason Hunt on guitar. took her mind off St. Louis. Bill was the heir to the Standard Oil name and money. And the town said, how did a middle class divorcee do it? The wedding was charming, if a little gauche. There's only so far new money goes. They picked out a home and called it Holiday House. Parties were tasteful if a little loud The doctor had told him to settle down It must have been her fault his heart gave out And they said, there goes the last great American dynasty Who knows if she never showed up what could have been There goes the maddest woman this town has ever seen she had a marvelous time ruining everything. Rebecca gave up on the Rhode Island set forever. She flew out all her closest friends from the city. She filled the pool with champagne and swam with the big names and blew through the money on the boys in the valet. And losing on card game bets with Dolly. And they said, There goes the last great American dynasty. Who knows if she never showed up, what could have been? There goes the most shameless woman this town has ever seen. She had a marvelous time ruining everything. They say she was seen on occasion Pacing the rock staring out at the midnight sea And in a feud with her neighbor She stole his dog and dyed it a key lime green Fifty years is a long time Holiday house sat quietly on that beach Free of women with madness Their men and bad habits And then it was bought by me Who knows if I never showed up what could have been And there goes the loudest woman this town has ever seen I had a marvelous time ruining everything I had a marvelous time ruining everything A marvelous time Everything a marvelous time Ruining everything a marvelous time
name is Amber Banks, um, and I am singing with my mother, Regina Lane. We've been singing with the Garris since the beginning of time. And my mother sang, sang a song earlier about how hard it is parenting, but she kind of did a good job because I kind of love her. So this song, <laughs> this song is- Is someone recording this? Yes. This song is about mattering to each other. I will be singing, we will be singing You Matter to Me with David Hillis on the piano. I could find the whole meaning of life in those sad. They see things that you never quite say, but I hear. Mm -hmm. And I'll stay there as long as you let me. Because you You matter to me. 
pleasure to thank our performers and volunteers tonight. Many of our performers are Heritage Hall alumni or students, and I'd like to thank the staff of the Heritage Hall Performing Arts Department for encouraging and developing them. This year's performers range from first-time soiree performers to every-time soiree performers, and from high school students to professional musicians. All of them are absolutely fantastic, and we'd like to thank, in particular, our house band, uh, David Hillis, Jason Hunt, Bart Varner, and Jack Owen. And we'd also like to thank Jason for his services as music director. And I was going to say, let's thank them with a round of applause, but let's do that anyway. <laughs> We also want to thank Andy Boatman of Blue Sage Studios. He opened his studios to FA families who were here in town yesterday and gave glass blowing demos and making creations um, a large part of yesterday afternoon. And also several businesses have helped with tonight's decor and technical supplies, including Heritage Hall, House Bioceuticals, and Harvest Gift and Drug and Gift. Um, thank you. And also I want to thank our silent auction donors and remember that we're all winners. Um, but for assistance with the silent auction and for table graphics as well as set up, we want to thank Whitney Van Hoogelen and also thanks to Ann Mushno and the Ferris staff for their oversight and assistance. Thank you. We have several people keeping things running smoothly this year. Uh, Corey Ray running sound and Ethan Wells running the live stream at, both in the back. Um, we have Candid Color taking pictures. And of course our dinner and dessert were provided by Outback Steakhouse. And finally, I want to recognize Tish Boykins of Loose Leaf Creative for all of her graphic design work this year. And on top of all that, I want to thank everybody in this room, everybody watching online, everybody who was watching online in Europe and now has gone to bed, everybody who is going to watch YouTube videos later to catch up on the songs they missed or that they really enjoyed. So thank you very much, everybody who's here, who's watching online, all the FA community, the researchers, the, FA, the people with FA, the FA family, Thank you all very, very much. Good evening. My name is David Hillis, and uh, I had the privilege of having both Michael and Thomas as students in our choral music program at Heritage Hall. and. Uh, just really glad to be able to be here tonight. I'm sorry to report that you're not going to get to hear, hear from Edwin Lorne tonight, but they've asked me to sing a song, and so I'm going to sing a song called New York State of Mind. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. But I'm taking a Greyhound 
on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. Seen all the movie stars in their fancy cars and their limousines. Been high in the Rockies under the evergreens. And I know what I'm needing and I don't want to waste more time. I'm in a New York state of mind. It was so easy living day by day Out of touch with the rhythm and blues But now I need a little give and take The New York Times, the Daily News comes down to reality and it's fine with me cause I've let it slide don't care if it's Chinatown or on the riverside I don't have any reasons I left them all behind I'm in a New York state of mind This next song is a mashup of the songs uh, Midnight Train to Memphis and Black Horse in a Cherry Tree. So here we go. Well, my heart knows me better than I know myself, so I'm gonna let it do all the talking. Came across a place in the middle of nowhere with a big black horse and a cherry tree. Fair little fear up on my back. I said, don't look bad, just keep on walking. With a big black horse and look this way, said, hey little lady, will you marry me? But he said, no, no. No, 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 I said no, no, you're not the one for me. No, 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 I said no, no, you're not the one for me. Well, just look down, 
gave me 40 days Instead of the fine that I could not pay Said walk right, you'll soon be home Cross the line, you'll be on your own 40 days Shotguns and barbed wire fences 40 nights to sit and listen to the men I train in Memphis Men I train in Memphis And my heart had a problem in the early hours So I stopped it dead for a beat or two And I got some caught and I shouldn't have done that And I won't forgive me after all these years so I sent it to the place in the middle of nowhere with the big black horse and a cherry tree. Now I won't come back because it's all so happy. Now I got a home for the world to see. But it said, No, 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 no. I said, No, no, you're not the one for me. No, no. No, 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 I said no, no, you're not the one for me. You're not the one for me, yeah. Well, now it's a blow when the sun comes up. Every floor, keep your big mouth shut. Eat your breakfast on the ground. Work like hell till the sun goes down. 40 days Shotguns and barb wire fences No, no, no 40 nights to sit and listen No, no To the men I train in Memphis Men I train in Memphis Come on, y'all now And I said no train of Memphis. You're not the one for me, yeah. Big black hooks and a cherry tree. I can't quite get there cause your heart's forsaken me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big black hooks and a cherry tree. Men I train, men I train, men I train. I train. Cause my heart men I train. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jen Farmer, CEO of the Friedrichs Taxia Research Alliance. Thank you all for being here this evening. We are so grateful to the Gare family for bringing us together for such an engaging and inspiring event in support of our FA community and research. It's my honor and privilege to introduce our next speaker, a man who's dedicated his life to service of our country, our FA community, and the broader rare disease community. Ron Bartek graduated from the US Military Academy at West Point 
then as an army officer, served as company commander in Korea, and an infantry and military intelligence officer in Vietnam. He served for 20 years in the federal executive and legislative branches in defense, foreign policy, and intelligence, including the House Armed Services Committee, the State Department, the delegation to the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty Talks in Geneva, and the CIA. You might want to buy him a drink later and have him share some stories. Ron met his amazing wife, Rachel. There she is. While he was at the State Department, and he became stepfather to three boys, Byron, Keith, and Stuart. Keith was diagnosed with FA, and they sprung into action. They co-founded FARA in 1998, and Ron has served as the organization's president since then. As Ron navigated this new world of rare disease research, he put his lobbying and advocacy skills to work in different areas of federal government, the National Institutes of Health and the Food and Drug Administration. He has served on multiple national advisory councils, served on boards for the National Organization for Rare Disorders, the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, and the Alliance for a Stronger FDA. Recently, Ron was recognized by the FDA Office of Orphan Drug Development as one of the 30 heroes changing lives for rare disease patients. It is my greatest honor to introduce my dear friend, my mentor, our leader, my colleague, and best hugger. <laughs> Jen has just uh, forced me to break my own personal record for timing to get emotional. <laughs> it's the first time I've gotten this emotional before I speak. <laughs> uh, just a wonderful introduction, so kind. Uh, wow, what an evening. What, what a wonderful, wonderful evening. First, to the performers. These guys were just absolutely spectacular. <laughs> so inspiring that um, I considered the possibility of singing my presentation, and I, I knew there wouldn't be a person left in the room <laughs> after the first couple of lines, so I've, been, I've asked Thomas Gary, he's agreed, I'll give him the words for my presentation and he'll, he'll sing them. So, come in. <laughs> or, or, okay, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. But, uh, um, and I will say, um, as inspiring as they were, I, I have been to Spain, and this is my first trip to Oklahoma. I will say without hesitation or reservation, I prefer Oklahoma. So. <laughs> I want to thank, too, uh, be about the third or fourth person to thank all of our wonderful sponsors. It's just amazing the, the number of companies and individuals in this community that have sponsored this evening to make it so powerfully successful. So thank them all. I want to thank all of you for your enthusiastic participation, for your being here, for your being so generous in your uh, support. And, and finally, I want to thank the three generations of uh, Liz and, and Eric's family uh, for this fantastic, phenomenal event. So thank you to... Liz and Eric and Michael and Thomas asked me to spend a, a few minutes telling you uh, the Ferris story. And, um, 
Jen has, has, has told you a little bit about the personal uh, part of the Farah story that I'll, I'll reiterate or uh, expand upon just very briefly. That personal story began on the wonderful day in which I met this wonderful woman, Rachel. And could you stand and be recognized, darling? Uh, that was uh, December of 1991. Um, and uh, it was in a congressional office building, the House, the Rayburn House office building. Our offices were across the hall from one another. I met her in the hallway. Uh, I found out that she had three sons uh, that uh, Jen was kind enough to identify. They were two, four, and six when I first met them. Um, on January 1st, uh, New Year's Day of 1994, they were five, seven, and nine, dressed as cowboys to walk their mother down the aisle in our wedding. So, uh, they were dressed as cowboys because uh, it was in Shreveport, Louisiana, and all of my Texas relatives were there representing the Bartek side of the clan, while all uh, Rachel's Louisiana and Mississippi uh, relatives were there on, on that side. Um, it was um, then uh, four years later in. Um, 1997 um, that our middle son Keith as Jen indicated was first diagnosed with with FA um, so that that put it almost one year to the day after Dr. Sanjay Bidhi Chandani as many of you heard today and his wonderful team first identified the the gene that, uh, that causes uh, that with the mutation that causes FA um, so we were Keith was among the first uh, that was actually uh, able to have a genetic confirmation diagnosis. Um, the night we got the, the diagnosis uh, from, from the testing um, uh, agency, uh, we sat down at our old, this really dates it, sat down at our old Gateway computer. Uh, I don't think Gateway is in business anymore. I mean, it was before Google, so we sat down, I think it was called Netscape or something like that, where we net searched FA. We, we got some really distressing news. Um, we, we knew it was a relentlessly progressive disorder. Uh, we knew there were no treatments. Um, we knew there was precious little research going on. Uh, we knew there were no drug companies interested. We also knew that there were um, no organ there was no organization entirely devoted to supporting the research into this rare disease. Um, we knew that there was the Muscular Dystrophy Association that had our disease as one of about 42 disorders in their uh, portfolio, and the National Ataxia Foundation had us as one of its 32 or 33 disorders, um, but neither organization was spending much money on research into, into FA. So we sat down with ourselves, and we just learned how to spell Friedreich ataxia. <laughs> and we said, here we are living in Washington, D.C. We had met in, in congressional halls. Uh, I had had, as Jen indicated, um, a good number of years of experience in the federal government, um, in the uh, executive branch. So we decided we might be um, capable of trying to change the, the metrics that I've just described with all these zeros. We wanted to change zeros to, to whole numbers and, um, and, and, and try to do something about it. We knew we couldn't do it alone. We knew uh, that nothing could be done alone. So we, we needed to assemble um, a really good team. Um, we have come a long way <laughs> in that regard. We have changed a lot of those zeros, almost all of those zeros to whole numbers. Um, Rachel had a great idea this afternoon about how best to illustrate how far we've come in, 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 the, in these years. She, you heard, if you were at the research symposium, you heard Michael Gare ask Dave Lynch and Sanjay Bidhi Chandani how they first got involved in FA research. And uh, reluctantly, Dave answered the question that 
um, his close colleague and our dear friend Rob Wilson had come into him, uh, his office one afternoon and said, I've got a project I'm really keen on. I'd love to have you uh, get involved um, and come on over and I'll, I'll explain. Well, Rachel and I were among the first um, to bring our sons up to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia to participate in that project. And the project involved uh, getting the, the subject on a treadmill and, and having wired their legs to uh, try to work out some muscle spectroscopy that could be an indication of the severity of the disease and the progression of the disease. So while the, you know, so we took the, the boys into uh, the, the uh, treadmill and we found the treadmill was sort of stuffed into this storage closet that had a lot of supplies. It was, a, it was about the size of a broom closet. And, and there were Dave and Rob wiring them up and putting them on the, on the treadmill. Uh, so that was like the first clinical trial in FA. Um, and meanwhile, while Dave and Rob had our boys on the treadmill, we sat down in the external office with a genetic counselor, a wonderful woman who happened to have been Jen Farmer when, when she was working with Dave and Rob. So uh, that's how I sat down with her and learned a lot about the genetics of FA. And she drew diagrams of the gene and how uh, the gene is transcribed or read and how the RNA is sent into in the cytoplasm to collect DNA or to, to, to collect the uh, amino acids that form the protein. To this day, I use the same diagram. So it was, it was a wonderful day. Um, and th that does uh, illustrate um, you know, how we got started. Um, at the same time, uh, we, were, we had begun to meet with um, other parents like ourselves. We identified five parents like ourselves. Um, we identified one adult patient, um, and we identified three scientists um, that had been working on FA. Um, they all, all 11 of them, agreed to serve on the initial board of directors uh, of, a, of this new organization that we were going to call the Friedrichs Ataxi Research Alliance. Um, so we um, uh, sat down, and Rachel and I sat down at the table with our dear friends who had worked with the IRS. We wrote out uh, articles of incorporation that we needed to establish our foundation, and we wrote out bylaws for the board of directors, and we submitted those uh, to the appropriate authorities, um, and at the same time began working with the three scientists to prepare a grant application to the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, to fund the world's first international scientific conference. Um, we got, uh, in September of that year, which was um, 1998, we got the incorporation papers back from the District of Columbia. We took that incorporation uh, paperwork and submitted it to the IRS to get um, recognized as a nonprofit organization that would be tax exempt so that we could raise money. And we also, I, I drove the inch and a half thick application to the NIH, um, handed it in to the, the, the little lady in tennis shoes on the other side of the Dutch door, and four months later, uh, we got the approval uh, of that grant, which allowed us to fund uh, the world's first international scientific conference on our disease. Right there at the NIH, we got to co-host it with the Neurological Institute at the NIH. And wow, we were able to collect um, 65 scientists from around the world to join the 15 scientists at the uh, NIH. The common ground of those 80 scientists with all but one could spell Friedrich's ataxia. And um, he was the only one that didn't eventually get a grant from us. So it, it really established the culture that we're enjoying tonight, the culture that brought us all together, all in, all together, all the time. And that characterizes this room. It characterizes all of our scientists worldwide. 
Um, it, it characterizes the companies that are here tonight and that have joined our, our, our family. Um, so it was that collabor uh, that culture of full collaboration um, that, that has been our hallmark all along. I'll never forget um, at the end of that first International Scientific Conference in 1999, these 80 scientists had been there for two and a half days for this very rare disease. We thought there were maybe 5,000 or so American patients, uh, maybe 15,000 worldwide. As the, the first scientists began to leave uh, and to fly home, I stopped him in the hall and I said, wow, help me with this. We've got 80 scientists from around the world in that room for almost three days for this very rare disease. Why is that? He said, simple, Ron, we think we can get this one. And, you know, so that's what got me. So that turned our heads to our next part of the mission. We knew we had to do what we need to assemble the assets that would allow us to allow them, to enable them to get this one. And what did that mean? We knew we had to raise some money. Um, that first year, including the $42,000 grant we got from the NIH to do that three-day conference, we raised only $100,000. You know, so the second year, we doubled that, and we continued to double that previous year's total each of the successive four or five years. So that allowed us to begin to award grants. All, all of them were first basic science grants to fund uh, an underst a better understanding of the gene, a better understanding of the pro protein product, a better understanding, uh, understanding of the mechanism of damage, that, you know, why does, why does this protein uh, shortage cause damage, and, and the mechanism of action that might be available to, for a therapeutic approach. We also started um, a patient contact registry. Uh, so we knew where our patients were, who they were, and how to contact them. Um, we knew, too, that to conduct the first clinical trial, there weren't any clinical trials in FA going on. To do, do the first one, we knew we had to uh, have ways to measure success or failure. We, they're called clinical outcome measures uh, or endpoints so, so that we, we could show the FDA this drug works because look at how it moved these outcome measures, you know, that, that demonstrate improvement in our, in our patients. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we uh, sat down with these clinicians and started talking with them about how to establish outcome measures. And uh, Rachel and I assembled uh, 14 patients um, uh, from our catchment area, from the Virginia area, and uh, 10 of our FA clinicians. And the 10 clinicians examined these 14 patients, and again, 18 months later, obviously no intervention, there's no drug to take, and they looked at those data and said, what has changed in those 18 months? Those change, the data that demonstrated change over 18 months became the Friedrich's Ataxia Rating Scale. That was the outcome measure that these wonderful people at RIATA used as their principal endpoint that got us our first approval. So. Um, so that, that exercise also uh, resulted in um, getting our clinical network started because uh, to examine those patients, uh, we, um, we established five sites around the world. Now that's grown to 15, and it's also produced a natural history study that was absolutely instrumental, as you heard from Riyadh earlier today in securing that, um, that, that first approval. Uh, so th that's sort of how far we've come. Um, and uh, I like to describe that set of developments in the form of the Field of Dreams. How many of you remember the movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner? Do you remember what was the mantra 
that you kept hearing from Kevin Costner. If you build it, they will come. That's what we've done. We have built it, you all together, and we together have built it, and darn it, they have begun to come, and they are coming, and we're continuing to build, and they continue to come. You, you guys have helped become, you are all members of the starting lineup in the dream, in the dream team that is continuing to build that field. And your magic, your, your magic sauce is that you don't just have them come, you integrate them into the team. They become starting members of, members of the starting lineup in that same dream team. That's why all these companies, we started with zero companies interested. We now have over four dozen and they're all engaged because they know they are essential members of our family, essential members of our team. Um, and so we, all that teamwork, all that, that wonderful, you know, we've changed FA research into a family affair. And that's everybody in this room knows that, everybody in this room feels that, everybody online knows and feels that. We know that all of that has led to our first approval. We know there will be more. And we know the more will include additional small molecules that will help uh, the sky clarus in, in, in different parts of the function of the mitochondria in the cell. We know too that they will include um, therapeutic approaches like gene therapy and gene editing and protein replacement, all situations, all programs that are in clinical trial now. Um, so there will be more. And, and the more will include all these, um, it won't, the, at the end, it will be a, a, what we call a cocktail therapy or a combined therapy. It will be, we'll fill that medical kit bag with as many options as individual physicians can prescribe to their patients because they're appropriate to those patients. None of that would be possible without your generous hearts. None of that would be possible. We wouldn't be anywhere without the support of people like you and your generous spirit. Um, and so, so knowing that, knowing, you, you see now how far you've brought us. You see now too how much further we need to go together. And you know that these additional therapies will come. And it, as Jen said earlier today, they will come faster now because we've established the pathway and other companies are coming to our side because they know we have the pathway that we've established with the FDA, for example. Um, and so you have been phenomenally generous. You, you heard from Michael that over the, the past few years, this group has raised over a million dollars. And so thank you for that. I am so grateful for that. We are all so grateful for that. But we are, we would be remiss if we weren't to su suggest to you tonight that we still need you. We need you even more because we've got further to go and bigger targets to hit. So we're going to give you one final opportunity tonight to open your hearts even further and, and, and fill our tanks even more deeply so that we can get those next therapies and end up with an, a successful effort to both treat and cure FA. So thank you very much. And now Eric will explain how. <laughs> So I wanted to, I wanted to say that uh, there's nothing else to buy or nothing else to bid on over here, but there is still some wine at the at the uh, wine pool. So please go ahead and if you're interested in the bottle, please buy one. I don't want to. Liz and I aren't going to drink that all. So if you still have anything in your pockets, the you can use the you are you can use the link that was that was texted to you earlier this evening about half an hour a half an hour ago. You can use that link. You can go to bid.curefaceoire. Org, or you can use the now working code on your table. This is the one last opportunity. There's nothing else. We're not offering anything. We're not giving you a bottle of wine. We're not giving you any silent auction items. We're giving you hope for the future. And we'd, we'd encourage you this one last time. 
We have only a few numbers left, uh, and then we'll get up and we'll let you announce, announce our total. Um, and so in, until that time, we'll, uh, uh, the last few numbers, uh, please, please give a little bit, and, uh, and we'll announce the total very shortly. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jay Ferguson. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, I had the privilege of being a, a teacher of Michaels and of Thomas and of the majority of the young people who are singing tonight. So tonight's one of the greatest nights for those of us who were their teachers. It's like the greatest karaoke reunion ever. And I hope after we uh, cure FA, we can still get together like this. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. What uh, you know what, what uh, Michael and his family has, have done is just extraordinary, building this community. Um, it's, it's so meaningful to so many people, uh, even, even me, uh, to see it happen. I, not everybody has that. Um, and you know, when, back in the day when I was a performer and uh, a, a professional, I was in the, the business and I saw a lot of people who didn't have that kind of support system. Um, for instance, there was, uh, there was someone I knew, uh, her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to there. She would merengue and do the cha-cha. And though she tried to be a star, Tony always tended bar across a crowded floor. She worked from eight to four. They were young and they loved each other. Who could ask for more? Two, three, at the Copa. Hey, Copa Cabana. Thank you. The hottest by North of Havana at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. They fell in love. But now, this is not just a simple love story. No, 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 no. It's more complicated than that. It is a love triangle. Because in chapter two, another man enters the picture. His name was Rico. He wore a diamond. He was escorted to his chair. He saw Lola dancing there. And when she finished, he called her over. But then he went a bit too far. And Tony left across the bar. And the punches flew, the chairs were smashed in two. There was blood and a single gunshot. Oh God, who shot who at the Copa, Copa Cabana? The hottest but north of Havana at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Copa. She lost. Her love. It is a tragedy. And there's not more to the story, but there is an epilogue because I'm sure you are all curious what happened to this innocent poor young woman. Do you remember her name? Yeah. Her name was Lola. She was. You are paying attention, thank you. Well, it was 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Now it's a disco, but not for Lola. Still in the dress she used to wear, faded feathers in her hair. She sits there so refined and drinks herself half blind. Lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she's lost her mind. At the Copa, Copa Cabana, the 
hottest spot north of Havana at the Cobra, Cobra Cabana. Music and passion were always the fashion at the Cobra. They fell in love. Don't fall in love. Don't fall in Could have heard a pin drop when they walked through the door. Had to turn my eyes away, my heart fell to the floor. So I whispered, Where's her halo? She had that angel's face. She stood there smiling, holding oh, on to the one who took my place. So tonight, my heart aches on me, on me, yeah, let's drink a toast to the fool who couldn't see. Bartender, pour the wine, cause the curtain's all mine. Tonight, my heart aches on me. Wonder if he told her she's the best he's ever known. The way he told me every night when we were all alone. She'll find out when the blue wears off. He'll find somebody new and learn what heartache's all about and what I'm going through.
It always seems to work a little better when everybody's in tune with each other, so let these guys take a sing a bit. What a treat tonight, my goodness. Thank you all for coming out tonight, and it's just a, it's a pleasure for us. We traveled in from Ohio for this, and how about this young man and this house band? It's pretty special. Thank you guys so much. this year we wanted uh, Michael Michael's goals were it's all about the threes in 2023 we wanted 30 FA families to attend we wanted uh, 300 attendees and we wanted to raise $300,000 for Farah and as as Michael said if we raised $300,000 for Farah we would have uh, also sent a million dollars to Farah in the time that we in the time that we've been doing this um, and so I, I I'm I'm disappointed to say, we, we, unfortunately, we did not meet the goal of getting uh, 30 FA families here. We only had 28 FA families, but that is still one of the biggest gatherings of FA families. We are a small Midwestern flyover state, 
And we don't have a large population, but we have a hell of a lot of talent. And we have a hell of a lot of generous hearts. And, um, and so uh, we did meet our 300 attendees goal. Thank you all so much. We started having a turn of people away at the door. That was wonderful. And um, I just want to say a giant thank you to the members of the, the Cure FA Soiree team. None of this would be possible without them. They put in lots of hours, lots of time on the silent auction, all different uh, crazy amounts of work. And, um, and it paid uh, having barbecues and having all different kinds of stuff. And um, I'm incredibly pleased to say that we, we did break our $300,000 goal. <laughs> In, in fact, we had $403,000 raised for FARA tonight. This is a sing-along. The words are on your program. Pick up the tune. You can do it. Just a few more clinical trials and then we'll cure FA. Find a way to ease the protection. We'll cure FA. We'll cure FA together. We'll cure FA. We'll find a way it could be any day. Bart Varner! With my cries and a musical soiree, we'll cure a thing. Fight the fight, let's get this underway. We'll cure a thing. We'll cure a thing. We can 
find a way It could be any day We'll get fame Yeah.